In this video, I'll show you how to install a bucket seat in your Mazda RX-8. First off, if you're new here and like to watch RX-8 videos, then consider subscribing. All the items used in this video will be linked in the description, so make sure you check them out. To start, open the front and rear door all the way. Next, move the seat forward as much as you can with the electric button. Now take off the two plastic covers hiding the two rear bolts. Use your ratchet with extension and 14mm socket to release the two bolts holding the seat in place. When done, take them out. Next up, push the seat all the way back, locate the two front bolts, release them with your ratchet and then take them out. Now use your side seat buttons to lift the rear of the seat cushion all the way. After that, use the buttons to bend the top part of the seat forward all the way. Next, move the seat a little bit forward so that the bottom of the steering wheel matches the rear of the U-shaped black part of the seat. When done, disconnect your battery and let the car discharge for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, put a towel or a rug on the side plastic trim near the seat so you won't scratch it when taking out the seat. Use your bent nose pliers to remove the airbag and power connectors under the seat. You can find more info on what to do with the connectors after the bucket seat install on my forum install page. Now put your right foot behind the seat, grab it with your right hand here and with the left hand here. Wiggle it a bit and pull it up so that the outer rear bracket sits on the plastic trim on the side where the rug is. Now lift the front part so that the front bracket sits there too. Bend the seat back and grab it here with your right hand and here with the left one and slowly lift it and take it out. Just like that. Now you have the perfect opportunity to vacuum all the dirt under the seat to make it nice and clean again. For the next step, a must-have item for this install is the planted base bracket specifically built for the RX-8. Let me tell you from experience, don't waste time and money on universal DIY brackets because they are not worth either. This bracket fits perfectly on the OEM mounting points and also provides a solid and safe mounting place for practically every universal bracket seat. Next up, take the two side brackets for the seat and position them so that the holes on the seat brackets fit the holes on the base mount. Take an M8 bolt, put on a washer and insert it in the bracket. On the underside, put on a washer and a nut and tighten it with your hand. Once all four bolts are installed, make sure that the brackets are loose a bit so you can move them around. Next, position your seat on the bracket and push the side brackets as close to the seat as possible. When done, take a pencil and mark the sides of the two brackets so you'll know where to tighten them. With the seat removed, position and align the side brackets so that they are in line with the hole next to them and also with the one that you drew with the pencil. Tighten all four bolts with your hand. Use a wrench to hold the bottom nut in place and with your ratchet, tighten the bolts on the bracket. And here we go, our bracket is now ready to be installed. You can get a universal seat belt buckle and bolt it on a side bracket so you can use the bucket seat and OEM seat belts. Take the black M8 bolts that came with the seats and put on a washer. Lift the rear of the seat with one hand and with the other screw the bolt in the hole selecting whatever side bracket hole fits your height. I'm 187 centimeters tall so I'll go with the lowest one. Repeat the same process for the other three bolts. When done, take a 6mm Allen key and tighten the four bolts. And there we go, our bucket seat is now ready to be installed. Position the bucket seat inside the car so that the bracket sits nicely on the OEM holes. Before bolting it in place, have a seat in it to see if the distance suits you and you're able to fully press the clutch without struggling. In my case, I'm a bit too far away, so I'll have to move the side brackets a bit forward. So now with everything disassembled again, I can move my side brackets two holes forward. Since in the rear there is no hole where to put a bolt, I'll have to drill one. I marked the rear hole with my pencil, but I went with the second last hole in case I want to move the seat even more forward in the future. And now it's time to punch the guide hole on each side and use a drill with a small drill bit and drill your way from small to big drill bit. When the two new rear holes are finished, simply repeat the same process as before to install the seat on the bracket. Reposition the seat inside the car and test if the distance allows you to reach the steering wheel, press the clutch and reach the shifter. If you manage to do all of that comfortably, then we can proceed to the next step. 
take the four bolts that we've removed at the beginning, screw them in the four holes of the bracket and tighten the outer one and front ones with your ratchet and the rear inner one with a 40 millimeter wrench since it's not that accessible. With the rear door closed, we can see that we have a perfect side clearance and we can call this install a success. And let's just look at how good the bucket seat fits inside the RX-8. It instantly gives it that sporty track look that many go for. So if you're wondering on how to install a racing harness to match the seats, well stick around and I'll show you in a future video. As always, all the items I've used will be linked in the description. And if you found this video useful, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here and feel free to check out more RX-8 videos on my channel.